I hate masks. I hate social distancing. I hate distant learning. I hate constantly being told what to do. I hate teachers say when this is the new normal. And I hate being treated like a little germ no one can touch. The school is trying to take away my right to tell people what I think and feel, and I cannot say anything but what their point of view is. They have taken our freedoms. I can't even pick out where I play at recess, and now they pick out who I play with, and these ridiculous zone things make no sense. When I simply ask why, they say, oh, just for safety reasons. They blame everything in the name of safety. I miss seeing people's face. I miss the way things used to be. I'm scared they'll never go back to normal. Breathing freely doesn't seem like something we should have to ask any other people for permission for. Barely anybody likes masks in schools. Their children are suffocating. You don't know what it feels like, and just it's not in a sense. Wearing a mask makes it difficult to breathe during school, and I miss important things that my teacher says. I just want to say I think it's really sad how kids in the classroom don't even know what their teachers look like. Can you imagine going through an entire school year not even knowing what your teachers and classmates look like? Have you ever tried breathing through a straw? Try it, and you'll see what it feels like for me breathing with asthma. Can you imagine adding a mask on top of that, the straw and what that would feel like? I have, and I pass out from lack of oxygen. Yesterday, we spent the morning at the ER. So my son had extreme breathing distress. He had to have breathing treatments and steroids. So this mask is not keeping him safe. It's making him sick. Who's going to pay for that hospital trip? Are you? Parents, the longer that you wait and you don't hold your child's schools accountable gives these guys more time to dictate what's best for your child's physical, mental, and emotional health. Don't be afraid to speak out for your kids because they are voiceless and they, and they rely on you. When our children ask for breathing breaks at school, they are denied access to fresh air and disciplined accordingly. They are yelled at, they are shamed, they are told they are not going to be promoted to the next grade level, they get office referrals, they get lunch detention, and even in school suspension for even lowering it below their nose. Let me repeat that for you. Our children at school ask for breathing breaks and they are denied and then they get in trouble. We are gaslighting our children to think that it is normal and healthy to cover up their healthy, beautiful, God-given faces for hours at a time. Think of the children learning the basics of phonics and literacy who can't even see their teacher enunciate, specifically my daughter. Think of the children who already suffer from anxiety, ADHD, autism, learning disabilities, who are possibly speech impaired, and other children who are struggling with a mask. Think of the kids who are feeling increasingly suicidal, have newfound eating disorders, who are regressing emotionally and socially. Think of the child who comes from a broken home, seeking love, compassion, and friendship, only to be completely isolated, even at school, not given an opportunity to see a single smile all day long. Do better. It's safe to say that COVID has not only killed many, but it is also killing childhood. And each of you are now continuing to rob our children with evidence lacking guidelines that have no practicality in the classroom or in a learning environment. Do better. We did not elect the CDC. We did not elect Dr. Fauci. We elected every single one of you sitting there. Are we going to pretend that this doesn't matter because the experts told us so? Nothing that has happened has been for the sake of our children. Do better because if not, we will do better better. There are four of you school board members who are up for re-election next year and I assure you we will do better when your seats are up. We will do better by taking our children out of your schools. We will do better by protecting our children from any further baseless abuse at your hands. Do better. Unmask our children. We are watching you. What you are doing to our kids is abuse. What you are doing to our kids is psychological warfare that will haunt them not just for this last year, not for this year, but for the rest of their lives.